Like immediately right off the right, right, just to start the episode, um, something no one is talking about is the fact that I literally was drumming for Lord in Ireland. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, you should have probably told everybody that you would have boosted her sales like so much. I would have boosted her sales yeah. one and two, like, uh, but I didn't want to make it about me, like the show about me. So I like, oh, wow. I'm. It's like about Lord. It's Lord's show. Yeah. Like if people knew I was drumming for her, it would have been like an actual. It would have been a dangerous situation. Like, it also would have been embarrassing because it's like, oh my god, like, sorry, so many people are here for me. They're yeah. like chanting my name in the, the middle of the songs. Because the Druthers don't play. Yeah, like, they don't. They do not. They play. they spread. They spread um, themselves. Yep. Yeah, uh, they Wide. spread seed and STDs <laughs> as well. Um, no, it was magnificent though um and someone did get a video like a tiktok of me drumming and we'll just play it um and i'm stoked i'm proud of myself i can't believe i've been able to come this balance far. i can't believe you've been able to balance the podcast and being on tour with her yeah yeah, that's like a really honestly, congrats, like kudos for that. Dude, it's so much flying. It's like I'll be in Ireland and then I have to film two podcasts in two days because we're traveling more. So like we'll record two podcasts, then I'll fly to like um Austria or whatever, and then I have to fly back the next day. It's like the craziest schedule ever. Here, Kai. I bet you didn't know he could do that. I bet you didn't know he could do that. That's not true. He could do a lot of things, especially behind like, doors and with his clothes off. I don't think that's actually off. true. I think he's lying again. No. I don't know why everybody calls me a liar. Like, I'm not a liar. I'm, like, about to start crying. It's probably because you do lie quite often, so it's, it's very easy to just... It's because you're always lying to people. And yeah, ask. so it, it's, it's just kind of like common knowledge. If someone's, like, always lying, they kind of get called a liar. It's like if you're always having sex, you get called, like, awesome. That's like kind of the That's why thing. I get called awesome. You don't. Lot. Like, that's the thing. That's me. That's all me. You you get called awesome because you are awesome. I get called awesome because I'm also awesome and I have sex all the time. I get called a danger to society. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, I was going to say something and I fully forgot. That's me. Every single episode, I say that like four times. I was going to start with something and then you started talking and now I fully forgot what I was going to say. Also, me and Drew found the best lollipops ever. We are not being told to say this but the yum earth organic pops are so fucking good you know how other lollipops scrape your tongue and cut it this one you can really rub up against your tongue and it doesn't happen it's got like a sandpaper effect it like other lollipops are like sharp and like they turn into blades when you lick them this has like a sandpaper effect it's almost like you're making out with a cat mm. <laughs> hmm? you say that like that's a good thing um, also, I've realized that Shane Dawson. <laughs> I think it's more embarrassing to overreact when you almost get hit by a car than to like play it cool. Does that make sense? Like when oh, you know, no, you know, yeah, when you almost sure. hit someone and they like throw their hands up. Like no one's doing that out of fit of anger as much as it is because they're scared and they're like, "Oh fuck you!" But like they want to like act bravo, like in macho, like they weren't just terrified for yeah. their life that you were gonna take their life. No, that, that's the most humiliating thing ever. Like if I hit, <laughs> if I almost hit you with my car and you throw your hands up, it makes me actually want to press on the gas more until I like, squash you. Like, <laughs> like a little. Butt. That is more. That is so angering. Like girl, like I, I didn't. Was, hit I you. did not want to hit you girl. you're fine like, i did not want to hit you you did not get hit let's just all move past this and like forget about it's it it's a simple mistake literally literally <laughs> it's such a simple mistake i almost literally took your life with my vehicle <laughs> um it reminded me of that like when i walked to the gas station to get pepsi um that those people that uh or that that good guy that i was walking with that he almost got hit by the car and like I didn't react at all and he like threw like a fit and like hit the window and was like what the fuck like are you kidding me and then like he like looked at me to like 
be, like have his back and i just like literally walked around the front of the car and kept walking and i was like it is not that deep i it know really not that deep. It, also that's just so embarrassing like ew not you being scared to die <laughs> like that's so that. embarrassing like no i'm just so cool like if it's my time to go like mm -hmm. rain or shine baby i'll go that's such a lie because i actually don't want to die like by the hands of everybody knows that's by the hands <laughs> of someone else because that's embarrassing mm -hmm. But it's way more embarrassing to like show that you cared. Yeah. Like, what, is it like them teaching the person a lesson? Like, are they trying to teach me a lesson? Like, I don't get it. No, it's literally not teaching me fucking anything. It's making me more angry. It's making I'm me want go. to murder you. Also, everybody, Azul had fleas and licked herself to the bone. I'll insert a picture. It's actually so nasty. She, by the time this episode is out, she's fully fine because I literally got her ointment yesterday and she was like, her shit is already like back to being white and not fucking scary red mm -hmm. um but because of that she had like a plastic cone on her head which will also insert a picture of her plastic cone oh i thought that's what you're gonna put the scab up yeah yeah that's traumatizing yeah it's disgusting. disgusting it's so nasty also before anybody calls me a bad owner it's hidden under a tuft of her hair and me and drew both looked at it like three days ago and i thought she was just wet from licking herself. And I was like, ew. And then literally two days later, I looked and all the hair was gone. <laughs> she licked the hair <laughs> She right literally off. ate all the hair off of her body. Mm -hmm. So it's really fucking nasty. Um, but she had an allergic reaction to fleas. Anyway, she had a plastic cone on and she was accidentally scooping litter out of the litter box and dragging it all over my room this yeah. morning. Because um, why do vets give cats such big fucking cones? Like they're literally just scooping pissing shit around they can't lick their ass it's they get not poopy butt that, it's literally not that deep and like this cone is so big on azul or was because then you replaced it it was so big on azul that like he literally couldn't jump and like he couldn't keep his he head up keep... he was like dragging his head you along knew the he floor. was coming into the room because you just heard like <sighs> um it's really sad for some reason when azul is like living like a little sad life it actually like deteriorates my happiness me and josh were talking about that this morning exponentially mm -hmm. like it's just so sad it's like ew like i want to put her out of her misery we should just shoot her <laughs> yeah yeah for sure <laughs> No, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> we should have just killed my cat when she's no. a little sad. You know what's crazy about the Uniqlo socks? I think they changed their sizing a little bit because they're really baggy on me right now. Which is insane because normally they're like really taut. I don't like high socks because they squeeze the fuck out of my goddamn ankles and I feel like I'm losing blood flow to my feet and then my feet are 10 times more cold than they always are. If I wear low socks, like like medium high socks it looks like i have cankles so i literally can't do it i just yeah i used to wear no-show socks if you wear no-show socks you're a fucking menace to Danger. society you are so fucking scary kai these are show oh i got so scared that he was these are show socks <laughs> show, show socks show stopper this is for when it's showtime Showtime, baby. Yeah. I, I still can't believe the sand coming out Literally, of Literally, and I was like, fuck, it didn't get on camera. No, that, that episode shit. was my most embarrassing episode. One, because my shoe was like turning into dust. <laughs> and then the other reason is that people were tagging one timestamp in the video where I like let out this weird moan. <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, it, don't do it again. Do it not. Was like, it was like, oh. Thank like that. you. Yeah. Like that. But the, the reason why is because you were talking about throwing up. And I was like, it was supposed to be like And a, you were getting horny. I was getting horny. No, you, I was supposed to be like, oh. Like, it was supposed to be like a, oh, oh, like that. But it came out sounding very weird because the mic is so close to my mouth. It came so out like, like oh. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh. I got a massage and the lady didn't realize she graced my coochie like eight times. Damn. And I, and I was too embarrassed to say like anything. So I just laid there and I tensed up my body until she got the idea where she was like, oh, my hand is going too far up. Cause I got a big, I got a big beefy stew down there. It's, <laughs> it's big, y'all. Sometimes when I lay heavy. under a cover, I'm like, that makes no sense. Like when I'm naked under a cover and there's just a blanket on my body, I look down and I'm like, that's She's insane. packing heat. She's hung like a horse. Literally, if I want, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say if I wanted to. The watermelon to, was really gross, by the way. Nuh-uh. It tastes like cybernetics. What the fuck? You just made that up. That's not a word cybernetics <laughs> what is that it, it uh, tastes like the blue flum yeah it tastes like kim yeah like straight kim flum float mm -hmm. i think i'm gonna pick up smoking cigarettes and not wearing sunscreen anymore oh 
And also not washing my face. I'm not puffing anymore, by the way. Shut up. I swear. He, you he are. actually isn't. I like, I was gonna Kai I was gonna buy one yesterday. Yeah, and then Josiah handed you his, mm-hmm. and you were like, oh, I, I, I actually don't did want get this. onto him, and I was like, Josiah, like you actually have to bring those around because I was like off of it for like five days, and then he came around with his puff bar, and I was like, God damn it, like of course I have to fucking hit this thing, so I hit it. Um, but since he's left, I haven't hit a puff bar. I did want to go buy he one. He left two days ago. Um, <laughs> damn, like, can I not have one fucking thing? It's always this or that or something else. Like, Dude, I can't, I've man, heard, I can't you be know what happy it is? about is I've, anything I've heard that, that, that like, I'm done with Flum Flow, <laughs> like, probably since I met you when Jewel was around. I've heard, like, the, like... Everybody in the group, like, who uses, like, flum floats and puff bars and jewels goes through phase where they're like, no, I'm actually, like, so done. People, and then the second one's around, everybody, like, hawks over the person. It's literally like a dead corpse. And everybody in our crew becomes vultures. And they're like, give it, please, please give it to me. <laughs> Dude, I watched Drew and Josiah fight at dinner for, like, 30 minutes. I was just leaning into it because I was like, this is funny. I wasn't actually, like, give it to me. But I was also, like... Bitch, you better give it to me. Like, there's, you better hand that shit to me. So I was a little bit offended, but not because I needed it, but like, I need I, it. Uh, I need it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw a TikTok that was like, um, oh, wait, me before buying we move a. Move on. Oh, oh wait, no, it's, it's about, about uh, Flum Flow. It was like me buying a Flum Flow um, or like a Puff Bar three days after dramatically throwing it in water and like yep. d- swearing I'm quitting. No, literally it like people don't understand how hard it is to quit those little motherfuckers because they're so ready avail- readily available. They taste so good. Like at this point, like they do nothing for me other than give me like heart palpitations and like, like headaches. Like it's they're They do nothing. And like, it's strictly uh mental withdrawal. Like it's like, I, crave this thing more than anything i've craved in my entire life but like i'm strong i'm strong and i do i do quit for like months at a time and then i just fall back into it um but i can't i cannot do it it like i watched the tiktok um and i was like oh is that what i look like yeah i'm talking to all you who smoke those puff bars we look fucking weird remember when people would smoke they're box literally mods? tiny baby bottles yeah remember mm-hmm. when people would smoke box mods and you'd be like girl get a jewel like what are you doing we are those people now i'm like get some oxygen like what are you doing they're fucking big as fuck and they're literally they're literally shaped like little baby bottles so everybody baby holds them with a full baby grip and is like <laughs> baby bottle pop i'm allergic baby to baby bottle, bottle pop. pop fun fact it spikes my eczema up, um, and then when I eat it, all around my mouth flares up. Whoa! I don't know what in it I'm allergic to, but when I had it last time as a kid, I had it, and literally my eczema in my mouth, like I looked like I got like my mouth on a cheese grater and like fucking scraped my mouth on a cheese grater, and then my arms were like really puffy from my eczema. Nasty. Flaring up. Yeah, it was really nasty. That's I think I've said this before, but I literally used to wear jackets every single day in the summer heat or like Miami heat. Um, because I didn't want anybody to see the eczema on my arms. Did it so, go away? Yeah, it fully went away. I've never noticed anything. Um, because I used to have it really bad here. Now I have like little divot scars. Because one time in Honduras, I got so fucking sick. Um, and for some reason that spiked up my eczema, which makes sense because I'm sure it was just my immune system being down and it like spiked me up. And I scratched myself so hard that I like left like divots in my skin. Now I get eczema like around my mouth and nose, but I put so much fucking. I get it right here. Moisturizer on me that like it goes away. One little patch. Oh right yeah, here. I also get it on the side of my arms. I wonder if it's from like um, rubbing on my like skin, but I get it like when it's really dry. Is it just dry skin or is it like bacteria? Um, I actually don't know. I think it's like. It's way less severe than psoriasis, but it's kind of in that family of like, just like gnarly, uh, jar skin. But that was my biggest insecurity as a kid. Cause I didn't want people to be like, ew, why are you scratching yourself? You look scary. So I wore a jacket I mean, and I went heroin. under the radar forever. And nobody ever knew that under my jacket, I was dying. What the hell was that? I'm yeah. passing away. You sounded like 80 years old. Oh, did I second. tell you guys that I'm probably going to die? It's this tomorrow. amulet on her chest that keeps her young. <laughs> it sounds you like beat my cross. You went to the old beach. 
<laughs> I've never seen fucking old. I need to see a really shitty movie. I've seen too many good movies. Oh, also the voice actor of um, Roger Rabbit literally wanted to have sex with me. That was awesome. We went to Monster Palooza. <laughs> I don't ever get the, the kid getting his makeup <laughs> That shit was actually fucking crazy. Oh, no, we have to insert that video, dude. Video, dude. Me and Drew the literally... The most shifty kid we, ever. We went up to him to just stare at him and laugh like eight times. And then at the end, we were like... Oh, that's a, like, person. That's a child, a person, <laughs> and we're bullying this child person. Like, we weren't doing it on purpose, but, like, literally, just, like, oh, my God, humans are so fucking funny. We are literally so bored. Like, cars shouldn't be as extravagant as they are. Th that's just to get you from one point to another. We shouldn't have cars, period. I want a car, but we shouldn't have cars. Then They're how would... Like, no, make the cities walkable. We should have started with that. Make yeah. walkable cities. I mean, I guess. Too bad we went the wrong direction. But then how would you have sex in the train? Head. You could have sex in your car. What? You can have sex in your car. Girl, what the fuck are you saying? I'm saying we need cars because it's like just one other place to have sex. That makes sense, actually. That's why they did it. That's why they made cars. I feel like that is kind of why they made cars. Yeah, cars used to be open top. And then they were like, we got to put a roof on this so we can bone in here. Mm -hmm. No. So that the rain doesn't hit you. While you're having sex. Do you think the first person to have sex in a car was like, I, I'm probably the first person to do this? Yes. Because like so few people had cars at the uh, beginning. People are so fucking horny. I bet hella people fucked in a car at the same time for the really? first time. Damn. Because bitches are just horny. Literally. But who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Drew's literally chomping on his, on his lollipop. Mm, That's the difference between me and Drew is I'm a sucker. He's a chomper. Yeah. I'll be sucking. That's what his all sounds like when he eats his little kibble. <laughs> Dude, with his bowl, he like couldn't get to his fucking cat food, and I just heard him scraping up kibble against the floor. Kibble is such a cute word. Hi, kibble. You're my kibble, because I eat you up, and then I throw you up because I ate you too fast. I've been drinking a bunch of Miralax. <laughs> I'm really constipated again. Did it What's work? What's new? Did it blow your back out? Nope. So I'm like, I need to drink the magnesium citrate, which I, if I'm going to do it, I have to do it tonight, because I fly... On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Ew, then. dude. Oh, my God. No, dude. I literally, like, now that, like, bottle of laxative actually gives me, like, PTSD because I just look at it and I think about how it actually gave me COVID. Like, for me, laxatives are what gave me COVID. And yeah. I will never have one again. I'd rather be constipated and walking around with a big belly full of shit <laughs> than be spraying shit out my ass. That is a luxury and a privilege to be able to say. Have you seen the new Fortnite video? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. What is the Fortnite I've video? I've given so much money to Fortnite. It's I've given, like, at this point, this is embarrassing, easily over $100 to Fortnite. That's insane. I've, I'm like, that's insane. Like, I didn't do that same thing for... Uh, cat. What is it? Castle... Clan battles like the... Oh, Clash of Clans. You were Clash hella playing clan. that like that? In, in uh, high school, yeah. Like I spent probably like five hundred bucks on that on that game. Probably spent like five hundred bucks, and then on Balloons Tower Defense, I spent hella bread. But like I've been kind of good about not spending money on Fortnite. They actually make it too fucking easy because I literally just have to. Well, hit you just X. have a spending problem. No, 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 no! It's not my fault. It's literally it's so easy. Also, they have to stop making good skins. At this point, like my idea of a good skin on Fortnite is literally anything that's it's just a girl. Decent. It's yeah, literally it's any you girl. just like all the basic girl skins. Yeah, because I'm like, that's me. <laughs> it's, it's giving me more. Like <laughs> what, what do we keep saying? Me when I... <laughs> oh, dude. No, I, I brought that up the other day. Like, me and Inya do this thing where it's, like, actually, like, the least, like, thought out planned joke ever. And I just realized we do it literally 300 times a day. But, like, literally, I'm just going to use this as an example. But, like... This is, I made this joke earlier today. Like, so I'm not just like making this up on the spot. This is something that I said. This is a book without a cover. And I literally picked it up and I said, me when I have a book without a cover. And like, that's, that's the joke. Like, like this.
there's nothing to it. Me when I'm a lukewarm glass of uh, tap water in a mason jar from Erwan. Me when I'm a sucked sucker. <laughs> me, me when I got so mad at my parents on the phone today, I punched a hole in my wall. You're done talking for this episode. Cut. You're done. Okay. Silence. You're on, you're on like at least a 10, 15 minute timeout. Got it. And if you don't, <laughs> if you don't abide by that, I'm going to rip your leg hairs out. <laughs> <laughs> one by one dude that was so funny <laughs> dude i literally i've never fucking argued with my parents i have never oh that's a lie i'd be arguing yeah. me like me when i actually just lied for fun <laughs> like literally you lying <laughs> i was talking to my mom um yesterday and i was just like talking about like shit that i did when i grew up and i was like y'all like had to have hated me i was like terrible like <laughs> i sucked ass as a kid and like um, or as like a teenager, I was like, was it harder for you to raise me as like a one, two, three, four year old or as like a 16, 17 year old? And they immediately without like skipping or hesitating, they're like, when you were 16 and 17, you were like awful. Like you were terrible. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't think I was that bad. But like just looking back, I was just like literally suicidal. I wanted to die and I wanted to spend all of the money that I made on coral and fish. And that's what I did. And also I did a bunch of drugs like a lot <laughs> that being the last thing you mentioned <laughs> be like no i was the worst person ever because like i had like mental issues and like i loved fish oh also i like abused <laughs> substances like crazy it was and I, I also was like damn like they really couldn't punish me because like while i was doing all these drugs i don't think they were like aware of it but like i was maintaining my grades in school and i was like had a part-time job that i would do after school so like i was doing all the shit I was supposed to do, I was just having fun with some drugs, um, which like ultimately ruined my brain chemistry forever. Um, and don't do that. But yeah, they like really couldn't like punish me. My grades were fucking awful. I was so bad with school. Like I genuinely, I couldn't tell you what I did when I went to school, but I know it wasn't schoolwork. Like I wasn't, I was not in class. I would skip, I would sit at my favorite teacher's class and I would just sit all fucking day and i i think about it and i'm like what was i really doing because like i think i was watching a lot of movies in school at that point like i would like go to school with my like fucking iphone already having like a movie that i'm gonna watch loaded up and i would just sit in classes watching different movies because i literally remembered like two movies i distinctly remember watching in high school like in class one of them what's the movie with johnny depp in the middle of the desert with all the drugs ringo no <laughs> um fuck it, it, it's like Holes. the cover of him with the big eyes oh uh fuck he does lsd yeah um like chasing bad times or like chasing your mom uh, wanting to have sex with drew's mom las so vegas funny. they drive the car Fear and loathing in las yes. yes literally me when i'm a cock two twins album Fear, Fear and loathing. loathing. <laughs> That's not the album. Um, but yeah, I remember watching that in high school and watching it in between classes and texting the man who was grooming me because that was his favorite movie. And I was like, I love this movie. Meanwhile, I was like, this movie boring I have as fuck. No I, idea. Like, I want to be watching the One Direction. I was wondering why you were watching that movie. Um, I, I, I was I, like, I feel like an older man is responsible for yeah, this. Yeah, I was also like, I was way more cutty with like what I decided to watch as a teenager versus an adult. Like as a teenager, I actually had the capacity somehow to watch multiple movies. Like every like cooler movie I've seen, it's because I saw it when I was in like really? high school. Yeah, but that was because I was like an obnoxious fuck who was like on Tumblr and like reblogging Art like cool house. gifs. So I was like, I need to watch this so what, that when I'm reblogging it. Yeah, gif. Gif? That's just a gif. That's like jiffy butter. You're a psycho. What do you say? Gif. Yeah, it's gif. Gif? It's gif. I say gif. The and creator of gif said that it's pronounced gif, but I think he's wrong. All right. So me and the creator got one thing in common. Some common sense. Oh. Yeah, and um, y'all are gay. Oh, shit. Why? It's Pride Month. Like, why do you have to talk to me like that? I'm straight. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can talk like that because you're straight. Mm. You should think about the way you use your words as a straight man. Mm -mm. As a very straight man who has no homoerotic <laughs> tendencies, you should be careful. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, are you fixing the knots in your hair? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking out the matted dread that's formed. <laughs> the block of hair that you're moving? Yeah. You want me to give you a haircut before you leave? 
Uh, no, I was actually thinking about getting a haircut in Texas, just letting them fuck me up. But I was like, I should just go to like a, a nice haircut person and like have them like do something good. For I me. mean, if you want to hold out till August, that's I'm just holding out till August to get my haircut, honestly, because I know a spot in Brooklyn that I want to go to. I literally don't know if I could. That's how I felt. But I was like, I'm gonna do it. Um, but fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I distinctly remember watching that and like falling asleep watching it in school. And then also Paprika. It took me like three times to finish Paprika. Um, and it's also I because haven't finished it. I would watch it in school and then fall asleep in class. So that's what I did with my education. And I'm not kidding. I graduated with such a low GPA. I, I'm not joking. <laughs> like, what's the what's the bare minimum? Like two, like 2.5? I think, yeah. I don't know. I think I graduated with like point one per like point above what you're supposed to graduate <laughs> and you had with. a one gpa no i literally my gpa was like nasty like it was <laughs> fucked up That's but crazy. to be fair like everybody knew that i was like not committed to being in school and wanting to be in school at that point i was like far beyond like Did i was the like teachers dude, just like give up were they just like no like yeah i don't give a fuck you can roam the halls like because if i were to try to do that in my school like i would literally be like reprimanded so bad like it would it would not have been like you know what it was is okay. because the way i would skip was my teacher would call me out of class so oh. because another teacher was calling me out all the time i wasn't technically skipping because it was like oh like i was a part of the journaling club under this teacher so he would like call me out and be like oh and yet and i was like the head of like journalism so he would call me out and be like oh and has to come work on this thing so i would just leave but I would go and be on iPhone Damn. and computer all day and just chill. And then um, sometimes he would leave and get us lunch and we would like sit and eat and like literally just like chill. And then I would just like mess around with the kids in his class and like troll them and like talk to them. Uh, you know the video of the like, um, what's her name? Fuck, I can't think of her name. Emily Jenkins singing. <laughs> I have a video also deep on my Finsta of oh, like showing the class. Kai, you need to send Kai that video. Oh of yeah, Sophia. of Sophia. Um, of her singing. I played it for the class and it was dead silent. Like <laughs> all of them couldn't tell if I was playing it seriously. Dude, that's so funny. I remember in sixth grade, um, we uh, did this. Uh, I had this like engineering class. It might have been seventh grade. Um, but do you remember that YouTube video of the girl who was like the emo girl that like um, was like fuck like she would cuss or whatever. Foxy, no. No, um, she was boxy. Like, That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't boxy, but it was like a girl who was like trying to be boxy. She was like younger. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Her name. She was like the emo girl that like would get really fucking mad at the camera. Um, yeah, it's whatever. I'll find it. Um, but yeah, so that's how I just like didn't go to class. Not that you should do that. I was just annoyed. I did have teachers who would fight me on it. I've like talked about that before. It's like I had a teacher who literally was like so mean to me and like, oh, of course. And I, yeah. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Let me do it again. And I, and I, yeah, oh, I always love you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I played that. <laughs> oh, my God. In my engineering class over, like, the speakers, because you had, like, surround sound speakers in there. And, like, I forgot that, like, she, like, gets really violent and cusses at the end. And um, he, like, was super pissed um, at me. But that just reminded me of your story. Um, but yeah, that's really all I would do. And I I don't know. My school was like, I, you know what I think it was? I think it was because I was like obnoxiously charming with my teachers. I didn't get in trouble that often. Like my school was a uniform school and I never wore uniform. And the principal was one of those principals who's, who like tried to be friends with all the kids. So he would always come up to me and be like, Enya, like, where's your uniform? And I would just like say some like snarky reply to him and just be kind of like, funny with it like oh like i don't believe in that like you're like i would like say annoying things to be like i don't believe in uniform like you're constricting my like creative like juices by doing that to me like i don't do that and like 
just be annoying and then I wouldn't get in trouble and he would like let me go. But that's also because he was like a fucking loser and tried to be friends with a bunch of kids. Sorry. Whoa. Sorry. Um, and hopefully all the bad stuff that happened to me that I don't remember will never resurface. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> it Wait. was just a thought. Norm Macdonald has a really funny bit in his new special where he's like when people have like really gnarly memories, like when people are like, oh my God, I just remember this thing happened to me. It's never like a fun thing. Mm -hmm. It's always like something awful that like comes back to you and it's like. (gasps) That you remember as it being funny, but then you tell people and they're like, that's not funny. That's like really sad and scary, you know, borderline abusive. I've had that happen to me before and I cried at a pokey place because I was like laughing about it with something with my friend and I was like telling her and she was like, and yeah, that's like not funny. That's like really fucked up. And then I started crying because I got embarrassed because I was like, oh my God, not you turning my joke of of a life into something silly. Like, Like it's silly. It's just a silly thing that happened. Like, let's just laugh together about it. We can just laugh. Um, now what? Um, were you guys popular in high school or what? I was so fucking popular. I was prom queen. I was serving. I was boots. Were you actually? Prom I was the queen? prom boot. No, oh, I, I was like barely like, why went to prom. Why did I know that? No, I I like went to prom. Um, and it was like the thing is okay. I, I I don't know if we've said this on the podcast. We've like lightly touched on it, but it fully is happening. Like everybody on my timeline on TikTok who was like someone in high school who I was like. I just had a bunch of prom things on my timeline and that made me so happy because we have finally exited the anti-prom culture like it was all like there was this one TikTok in particular hopefully I could find it but it genuinely made me so happy because I was like dude these are just like such a cute little crew like of just like eccentric like more eccentric leaning like young kids who like instead of doing the thing when everybody was like fuck prom like i'm not fucking going like they all like dressed up and went and then i saw another girl who she was literally talking about she was like i wanted to go to prom with my boyfriend and he was like oh we're not prom people and i was like i literally don't fucking care like i want to go to prom like i don't care like what does that mean what is like being a prom we're person not mean? prom people um and i think it's because like there was that whole era of like even ours being like fuck prom and i that always used to piss me off because i was like okay like prom is fun it's like not the most fun ever because when i think about it i'm like I literally sat at a table, danced for 20 minutes, and then left. Like, I, I don't... got really drunk, gave out a bunch of my prescribed kal- Kalanapin to everybody <laughs> on my party bus, and almost got kicked out several times <laughs> of my prom junior year. Um, I and only... I gave out all of my Adderall. I, only... I just gave it to everybody like candy. I was like, you can have it. <laughs> Take the Adderall and the Kalanapin. It's called a speedball. It's like a suburban speedball. It'll fuck you up. I almost killed a bunch of kids. It's like <laughs> not cool at all. Well, I didn't go to junior prom. I went to senior prom and um, I got a hairbrush flask. Um, so I, I actually a hairbrush. remember that because I we were on tour together when you were doing prom and you brought that to tour. Yeah. And I just like started using it because I was like, I got to make good use out of it. And it did work as a hairbrush. Oh, yeah. We have talked about this because people we, there was always the rumors that like you were going to get checked. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I'm going to tap back into that. So I, I'm just going to enter like a minor alcoholism phase. Oh like, God. is that cool? Like, I'm just going to wake up and with my cup of joe, like have a little tequila or vodka Girl, you in had there. four shots and like <laughs> blacked out and almost died. Like I had to like shake you awake a few times because you were choking on your vomit. <laughs> I know my like, tolerance. You are not entering an My tolerance era. is so fucking low. It's like comical. Like now it's w- with alcohol the way it is with weed. Like off my like little can, I'm like fuck i'm high as fuck i'm moving slow um i'm so lit right now i I need to play fortnite like actually okay when this episode is out i'll have just come back from like a europe trip and you know what's fucked up a genuine concern of mine is the fact that i won't be able to play fortnite for like 10 days dude i'm over it i'm over fortnite and call of duty really Mm -hmm. i'm done playing video games right now i don't know what it is but i've like the last few times I've played, I've said it like two episodes ago. It's just not fucking fun anymore. I don't know what happened. It's just not fun. It's just not hitting the way it used to be. You just I think I'm to- literally just depressed. Like that's what it is. And I'm like battling depression. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe that is it. But I would think that. No, that probably is it. Because I was going to say. I realized- See, I literally hate these shoes so fucking much. I hope they burn in hell. <laughs> like I bought a shoe that's 
too big for me. And then I got clocked because they were like, those are two sizes too small for you. And I was like, no, they're supposed to fit like this. They're too big. And they don't even fucking fit my foot. And then I, when I walk, they like kick off my foot. And I'm like, this is the biggest waste of money I've ever spent money on in my entire life. And I literally hate Prada. But like, put me on a runway. I was going like to say, I don't hate me. Prada. Prada, like, I love you. 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 Fix your shoe sizes. Maybe fix your feet. Maybe you're the freak. You have long, skinny feet and they're scary. No, I literally have like, um, my feet are like two different sizes. It was really funny. You could see like one of his feet were sticking out of the clog and then the other one was like snug in it. <laughs> yeah, I have like two different sizes of feet. You I'll, I'll post pictures of them on You here. shouldn't post pictures of your feet, Drew. Yeah. No, like I'll, I'll give I'll give the girls what they want. I don't know if it's the girls watching who want pictures of your feet. I'll I'm give the guys that. what they want. I thought you were straight. I am straight, but I don't discriminate. <laughs> that sounds like something someone who's like a little gay might say. No. <laughs> I was going to say something really bad, but I was like, it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it to bleep it. <laughs> we're entering good territory. Oh, move your head so everybody can see the temperature. That's awesome. Is it 99? Yeah. I was wondering why I'm so fucking sweaty. I feel I, good. I even have the thermostat on and it's just still at 99. No, or we, we have to get something figured out because these summer episodes are going to be really nasty. Yeah. Really fucking nasty. We just nasty. need to get a studio. The first like three episodes, I was probably the sweatiest I've ever been. <laughs> like genuinely. Like I would sit up. Actually, the first like 10 episodes. Um, we just need a studio. That's it. Can you build one? You're a man. We built this city on rock and roll, baby. No, we built this city on boots and house, and me and Jesse built the city. We'll get into that one day. Do you know about that? Mm -mm. Should I retell it? No. no. I, I, have to, I have to wait for Jester. I've retold the story many times. She's like over it. 300 times. I can't hear it anymore. It genuinely makes me so happy. Like, it's so funny to me. And then I try to add in on the joke, and I just get shut down. So yeah, it's like no, not because, me. I mean, me and Jester built the city. Like, it's like, no one else built the city. And I'm going to kill everybody in the city. You can't, because bomb. we have a force field. Yeah, no, Drew, you I'm can't add to the a, joke. Cause... I'm going to sneak a bomb in there and kill <laughs> oh. everybody. Well, we have really good protection, and also... You just won't because we have a force field. Every human in our city has a force field built around them. So you're just the outsider. If you put like on the Dune, bomb, you'll die. Like the Dune force field. <laughs> I've never seen Dune. That is a movie I will never watch. I'm sorry. Unless I'm like sedated. It's good. And you being like it. tied down. You're so weird and different and like cooler oh, than everybody shit. else because like you don't watch <laughs> stuff that's popular. Um, no, I just don't watch shit that's long and boring. It's neither long nor boring. I don't like action and sci-fi like that. Like it's more it's more like space politics. It's like more like future, like there's not like a lot of action. The action sequence are like whatever. What? Because I'm like <laughs> I'm like shocked that like space politics that's like the last word that would like intrigue me to watch a movie. Oh, it's like space, space, politics. space politics. Well no, give it give it a chance. It's like <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you would like it. Maybe when I'm high as Bingus on my flight, I'll watch it <laughs> if it's on there. It's giving Bingus. <laughs> it's giving Dugert. <laughs> What's it's giving Miches. Miches is good. Miches is good Miches. cat. Little Miches, little Bingus. Why don't you just stay in LA while I'm gone and put the ointment on Azul? No. Nobody wants to stay in Cream Azul up while I'm gone. <laughs> no one wants to lather the cream on Azul because... I one if I was staying, I wouldn't have been asked to do it. I would have just been assumed to do it, and I wouldn't have been paid. No, that's different. I I I don't like. I'm only paying because it is so annoying to like squeeze her down on the couch and, <laughs> and like rub touch her. Touch his bloody bloody scabs. <laughs> Kai, you, do you want to just do it for free? You want to touch her bloody scab? I would do it. I was gonna say I would do it, but I'm I, I'm so busy creaming Drew up. All the time. Drew's not gonna be here. He's lathering. He's coming with me to lather my cream. <laughs> you're, you do my bubble baths. Yeah, he hired Wait, me. Wait, Kai, are you getting flown up to cream Drew up? Yeah, I'm getting flown out to cream Drew up. Like that's the only reason why he's still around. Okay, I'm what? just, I'm, so, I'm sorry to like bring up your sexuality so much, but this is. Oh straight. my god! I'm this just again. saying, is it straight stuff? Like, is that like straight? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I it mean, is. I'm just making sure. Like, damn. True. No. It's not. Me getting flown out to cream you up is definitely not 
straight stuff. Oh, I got invited to one of those like scary yacht parties that people talk about. Wait, what do you mean? Drew. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Drew just showed me that grinder is open on his phone. <laughs> Wait, I'm I'm really confused. You're sending mixed signals. I have it on there to just keep tabs of the community around me. <laughs> what so for I you? Know to commit hate crimes or not. <laughs> this trash has been bothering me the entire episode. Can I? Yeah. No, 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 don't do that. Well, the camera's off. The camera's still on and I'm recording the audio. Please don't do that. Oh, fuck. Have you seen the new iOS? No. <laughs> this is exciting. This we, is exciting. We took, we took a uh, five minute intermission because <laughs> I'm literally was losing my fucking mind. I don't feel real. I'm not real. I'm like, I'm not angry, but like, I'm very close to like having an outburst of anger. But, <laughs> like, one thing will set me off. Um, but, okay. But, um, Is that your warning call? In, yeah, literally. In my um, moments away, in our, in our break, I stumbled upon something that reminded me of the new iOS update that's coming out soon. And it's pretty cool. Like, the, the texting iMessage shit is really cool. I think I sent it to you, but it's like um and i message you're gonna be able to like if you read a text message unread it and mark it as unread which <gasps> is like really advanced that's evil um because i do that shit all the fucking time like i read a message and i just never respond to it because you're it gets on? buried no oh um, oh i know what you're saying yeah. yeah like the instagram feature i don't know if it actually marks it as unread which if it does that's psycho and scary and like oh yeah that, that's what i thought you were saying but that's so good because i need that yeah because i just forget about my text and then also in the new ios um you're gonna be able to delete messages that you send so if you send a message you can delete it from both people's phones mm. immediately so like you can like sneak this someone and delete it really quick and like yeah oh that's good i don't know well, like there's a lot of utility like for jokes there like <laughs> I've I've already thought of so many things that I can do with that, but like relationship wise, that could be very good for people. Yeah, because I'd be saying out of pocket shit just out of a fit of anger, and I'm like, oh my god, I shouldn't no. have said that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, the way I need new iPhone, I need new iPhone right now. I know, I literally, literally do. I know, I, I actually <laughs> unironically need a new iPhone, but like I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> like I'm done buying new things. Like I can't. I hate being a consumer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna consume art things that were already consumed. So like basically thrifting. But I, I think I have to get the new iPhone. Like, that's the one thing I have to do. <laughs> yeah. I have no, to get the new, iPhone. the new iPhone. I have to get the new Mac Mini. I need a new monitor for my computer. Yeah, I need a new computer. I need to add fans to my computer. But other than that, I'm not consuming anything else. <laughs> like, I promise. Other than this insane tech upgrade I'm planning on making. <laughs> exactly. Also, I realized I fully missed out on telling y'all um, my awesome experience of anger yesterday. I had to take a Zool when I had to take her to the vet. Her vet was on Santa Monica and they were doing the pride parade, which I did not know. And when I called, I was oh. like, oh, can I get there? And they were like, oh, you can get there. You're just going to have to figure out like where to park. Like, I don't know where you would park. And I actually pulled a Drew and I was standing across the street <laughs> the, <laughs> at the loudest like parade I've ever been to. And like literally just like music was blasting and I felt was so Was it playing Dua Lipa? No, but I did hear Lady Gaga, of course. Uh, like Gaga course. and Dua, Dua. I didn't hear any Dua. 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 Um, it was a lot of like, I was like, where did y'all get instruments for today? Like, did y'all just have instruments? There was a lot, a the lot gays, of banging the on gays, instruments. The we have instruments. Or they have instruments. Whoa. Wait. What was that? You said we. You said we. Nope. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll leave it. If, if you said no, I'll believe you. What do you mean believe? This is recorded. And I can play it back. Not you calling him a liar. He's I'm, just constantly calling me a liar. Yeah, something's wrong with you. I'm saying and you're going that to hell. it was record. We have proof. Okay. So it's not... Yeah, you, we? Who's we? Shut up. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, I had a Zool Look, in watch, the car. Somehow he's going to edit it to make it say, I said me. We. Yeah. Somehow he's going to make it say Did that. you say me or we? No, no Kai is going to make it say we. I always had an Wait, what am I gonna yeah. make it say? And but I said they. You're just giving him more fuel. He probably already did it. 
It sounds like you called yourself like a part of the LGBT. Have you heard <laughs> of LGBTQ? Well, I, I haven't. Have. I'm not a part of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> um, but we. But anyway, I felt like a oh, fucking. Oh wait! Dick. Did you hear that? <laughs> that was actually good. Shut up! <laughs> that was actually good. No. When I said. <laughs> but but we but we LGBT. <laughs> Anyways, I had Azul in the car across the street from the fucking parade, and I was like, dude, this is actually gonna set Azul back. I think it was making me so mad because I was like, this is gonna set Azul back like three years in like brain it development. Like did. she's like a freak now. She's back to being a like antisocial like freak. But um, I felt like a goddamn fucking loser and I was so pissed um, that I had to walk across the parade with Azul and this fucking car- ca- uh, carrier and I actually felt like such a fucking idiot douchebag. I was like, everybody's here celebrating, having fun and I'm the fucking idiot who's like, sorry. With all your crosses on. <laughs> I know. I crashing the pride parade in your crosses. Just like stomping across with a huge cat carrier. When I left, I was in a way better mood because actually it was just my luck. It was like no wait time to get her looked at. Like it was in and out. And then when I was leaving, since it had died down, a bunch of people were like, oh my God, is that a cat? And it was really cute because everybody was like, oh my God, look at that cute cat. So I was like, yes, 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 I know. My kitty's cute. Like you should see the, you should my see the other one. My kitty purrs. Um, meow, meow, meow. But yeah, it was like I was pulling a you where I was like, actually, this is the worst fucking day of my life. Like, no, no I, I don't think you fucking understand. It like, feels so good to just freak out <laughs> for like two minutes and just have like a full blown conniption fit and let it all out. And then you can just chill. But like in that moment, that was the worst day of your life. You felt that truly. <laughs> no, and I'm not kidding. I actually did. I was yeah. like. I would rather go through every single traumatic experience that's happened to me ever again than take Azul out of this. Dude, she was shaking so bad. It was actually really sad. Little Mitch boy, he's so good. In the car, when, once we pulled boy. up to cross the street, I was like, also when I got out, there was a fucking Jeep with big speakers on it. So it just got exponentially louder. And I was like, oh my God, Azul. Also, for some reason, I thought Azul was going to like use superhuman strength and break out of the carrier. And, <laughs> Rip like, <laughs> open the zipper, use opposable And cars. jumps on top of one of the parade yeah. and it's like, hey guys. It's like Ratatouille, but for the LGBTQ Pride Parade. And it's as well. The Pride Parade. <laughs> Let, I've never been to Pride. Me either. That was my first time. I'm, I'm just not like a... Pro- that was your first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my first time joining. Um, I'm just not a parade person. Like, I don't want to walk around in a loud space. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a festival. It's just like hot. I have a crush. Not my vibe. Let's hear about it. No. That's all you get. I'm not taking any questions. Can I ask questions after? Yeah, of course. But they don't get to know. Just know I have a little bit of a crush. Guys, I got secret info. I'll tell all of y'all later. That it's between us. No, for real. You can come. I trust you. You can trust me. I'll only just write. I'll write about it on Patreon. (laughs) Get the fuck off You go on the Patreon and there's like a big like... (laughs) You know that one? Yeah, thing? where she throws it and her friend unlocks it and hears it. <laughs> That's a song. Sing it. I, there's no words to it. <laughs> it's literally just a beat and breathing. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly what I'm go. talking about. It's like a bit I of a soldier boy. I used it as my um, song of the week like not too long ago. I'll find it again. Keep talking. Me? Keep going. Um, I bought new oh, bras. Grimes. So. Stan Grimes. Suck my balls, everybody. Grimes is a fucking legend and she rules. Roses is popping on TikTok. The song by Grimes. Oh, word. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Actually, that's literally not crazy at all. <laughs> She's literally like the most famous musician in the world. I love Grimes. I don't care. I don't care. I'm proud to say it. I love Grimes. I love Lana Del Rey. Yep. I love Miley Cyrus. Like Yeah, on your straight shit, for real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. The straight curriculum. Beyonce. Curriculum. I said cur- the straight curriculum. Well, it's because they're hot as fuck. Yeah. They're like boat. hot women. Literally, that's what I used to say. <laughs> they're hot. 
<laughs> um, like, how, how could you not stand Miley Cyrus? She's like hot. And she's always got her boobs out, almost. Um, <laughs> I invested in new bras and underwear, guys. I don't think anybody understands what a big deal of that is. for me that is. She's been wearing the same bra and panties for 14 years. And I don't give a fuck. And I really don't. I really don't. That's sustainable. I, I found a pair of boxers. I was like cleaning out my boxers and socks drawer. And I found a pair of boxers in there. A gap pair of boxers that I got literally when I was seven. And I still wear them to this day. <laughs> I'm not joking. I still wear them. And I just ran, I threw out every other pair. But I kept that one. I was like, this is cute. I can't say that I have anything that old. But I do have literally like I saw the underwear I wore. I remember when I lost my fucking virginity. Aww. I still have them. I'd be wearing them. That's actually cute. It's not cute because I fucking wear them. And literally the band has like ripped off and peeled off and I still <laughs> when the, fucking when wear them. The, when the elastic like <laughs> dies and crumbles and they're not elastic anymore and they're just shorts. That's what did cute. I wear when I lost my virginity? <laughs> A gimp suit. <laughs> huh. Dude, I'm looking you, at the movie. You I wore your golf playing flame pants. <laughs> my golf playing flame <laughs> pants and the purple Converse. I actually am like trying to think. Oh, okay. I actually know. I remember. What? What? Don't even say shit. I wasn't going to say anything. You were going to say some shit. I was going to say, you look beautiful. No, say what you were going to say. Say what say you want to say. You wanna <laughs> say. Yeah. And let the words fall down. I'm a virgin. You're literally, you've been passed around more times than you know. <laughs> I love being a virgin. I'm a born again virgin. I think you're a fucking slut. That's what I think you are. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> uh, if someone paid you a million dollars to live in the White House for free for three years, would you? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How would I even be able to do that? Would you live rent free in the White House for three years? <laughs> I don't would know. you eat this full platter of fruits <laughs> and vegetables for ten thousand dollars? It was twenty thousand. <laughs> for twenty thousand dollars. I don't know. I, I uh, probably not because it would give me a cavity from all the. Girl, sugar. let's give Drew's meme reviews. Let's go through my meme account and see what's popping. Let's see what we've got posted. I feel like Jack Harlow right now. Damn. Because I'm kind of mid, but Mediocre. everybody likes me. Oh. <laughs> my God. Believe that. Just believe that. Okay, so we... We got this meme. I will never fully recover from my daughter pulling down my shorts and exposing my <laughs> bare ass and pussy in the middle of Panera Bread this morning. <laughs> I saw that and I airdropped it to Mason when we were all at dinner. <laughs> White girls when they have to go on some tropical, go to some tropical resort with their family for summer um, instead of doing hard drugs with their friends. It's a white girl screaming. Um, the lettuce on a McChicken. It's dying Celebi. Um, oh, this is a classic. When you're at brunch and a squirt off starts out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, I, had McDo I had a McChicken and four nuggets for dinner the other day. I'm not kidding, Drew. I literally was like comatose. No, I literally, it, it did McChickens, something to my stomach that Mc I haven't chicken, had. The McChickens are dangerous. Like, they're actually like, 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 I don't think they're actually edible. I think it's faking. <laughs> they're faking it, but they taste so fucking No, literally, good. it put, a, there was a mass of something in my stomach. It was yeah. like insane. This is the last one. Me and Inya have been quoting the last line he says of this video for the last week. I, it's so good. More than a million kids come up missing per year. What do y'all think happened to these kids? And every time people come up missing, the more and more people come up missing, the more they release more chicken sandwiches and shit. I'm noticing that. <laughs> I'm noticing that. I'm noticing that. I'm literally noticing. I like I, the one thing about me is I am noticing that. <laughs> Damn, this just became a meme review. Um, you're such a dumb animal. You pay 30% of your income to stay out of prison. <laughs> For the audio <laughs> listeners, it's uh, Chad and oh orangutan talking to each other in the grid format. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that one killed the vibe, girl. <laughs> Uh. Every time I see this, I'm so fascinated by the fact that it's all just corn. <laughs> literally everything in the pantry is literally all just corn. All we eat is corn and wheat. 
And they make it seem like it's not, but that's lit- all we eat is corn, wheat, fillers, and oils. And that's our diet. That's the American diet. Oh my God. I actually just thought about eggs and it made me gag a little. <laughs> Say you got a bug. Uh, me and Drew were throwing out all this rotten food from the fridge yesterday and we kept smelling. <laughs> we kept smelling it on purpose to gag. It was I'm literally, noticing so- I'm noticing that. <laughs> That. <laughs> oh, so good. I like it's so pets. I'm noticing that. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, what do I do for my YouTube channel? You just let it die. <laughs> I need to record a YouTube video because I have brand deals due, but I don't know what to record. You should make a video of you being yourself. And let's do a Q and A. Q and A's are so funny. I love a good Q and A. I love a good Q and A. I watch them, but like the idea of me doing a Q and A is funny. I don't think I don't know if I've done a Q and A probably since I was in high school. The Patreon literally says hello. Oh, true. I meant publicly. It's different. There's an intimacy with the Patreon, but like I mean, like publicly. You know what it is? Doing an IG like ask me anything is really funny because it really is just ask FM all over again. Yeah. And it's just like, it is ask a- me anything. I want to talk about myself right now. I literally love it so much. And talk- I love when people do it. I observe so deeply. I'm like, damn, you really do do that? Like, you're really into that, right? <laughs> I just skip through, if I'm being honest. Anytime anybody does like, like ask me anything that's on their story, I skip through because I'm like, honestly, I don't feel like this is for me. Because I... Did not fucking ask you. <laughs> and I don't fucking care. <laughs> I really don't. I'm going to do one today. I'm going to go live on fucking Instagram. That shit. By the boosted. time this is up, this will have happened two weeks ago. That boosted my confidence in a way I was not prepared for. You- um, are, Did we finish the merch? Oh. Yeah, kind of. Sorry, I forgot that we were. That we're doing merch and it's going to be fucking awesome. You forgot? How, how could you forget? I don't know. I actually... Don't know how I forgot that. Oh. Our Josh, roommate. come make an appearance. Our f- come say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time anybody's in our house and they want to use the bathroom, we hear them. Uh, we hear their pee, but you guys can't hear them. Pee. Literally, it's also crazy how Josh refuses to be on the podcast. Yeah, Josh JK, said, JK, he wants to be, but um, there just hasn't been the proper time. It hasn't, there hasn't been a moment where it feels right. Maybe we'll do it before our year anniversary. Josh will be, what, our third guest? <laughs> yeah, How Kai, many? Josiah. Devin. Devin. Devin had a small cameo, though, so it's not even like guest type. Guest type B. We need her on as a full guest. Yeah. We'll start getting guests in here. We'll start popping them in. We'll start popping them in, making them pop a squat on camera for you guys. We'll get that. That's out of gonna them. be the gag is they all have to piss on, on camera our podcast. And we'll give you the audio. You can th- you we'll can do whatever you want with we'll it. We'll waterproof the mics. Yeah. So it'll just be like a <laughs> Alright, that's it, man. Drew died. Let's do media. Ugh. I'm gonna shave my fucking head. That's a lie. I would I would look so bad. I looked so bad with the pixie cut. I look back at pictures and I'm like, oh I look slay, but in the moment You I literally felt cried. So you cried yeah, I hated your eyes out. My media of the week is a sea of love by Huerco S. Damn. Um, Bismillahi Ramani Rahim by Harold Budd. I said that so wrong. I butchered uh, the fuck out of that. And then Socks on Fire by Michael that Andrews. That was crazy. Um, <laughs> I tried. Mine is 4 a.m. by Grimes. Classic. Wildlife Analysis by Boards of Canada. I have been on a crazy Boards, Boards of, of Canada, Canada kick. Chroma Key Dream Coat. Um, I think the album's Geo Gaddy. Uh, that's my favorite Boards of Canada album for the people that want it to know. Um, Tourism is also cool. Literally, the song Tourism is so good. Um, literally, just listen to Boards of Canada, get lost in their music. Uh, some of it's really, really sad and dark. Um, but like, 
you need that sometimes and visually um bitch i literally visually have watched eight million tiktoks eight million tiktoks um and youtube videos on uh what's that fucking call of duty so you're not into playing call of duty you're into watching no i i've always said that like i've actively since i've moved from texas like some like one consistent thing about me has been me watching call of duty videos on youtube even though i never played it um and i just love being cucked by video games i love watching people play video games like i don't know why people don't like it. i just don't like actually playing the video game sometimes and like watching is enough for me so you want to watch me play around a fortnite right now no Okay, I'm going to yeah, watch my phone me. on TikTok. <laughs> I'm going to stare at my cell phone screen for seven hours to decompress. The black. Did you know? Oh, this oh, is crazy. Oh, my God. You said Do you know so why Black Mirror is called Black Mirror? Why? You see the phone's unlocked? Yeah. Lock it. <laughs> Look at the screen. It's a Black Mirror. Mm. It shows you who you really are. Drew, I think you might be experiencing short-term memory loss because you've said that like three times this week. I'm realizing that. I'm noticing that. I'm noticing that. <laughs> Literally the kid getting his makeup done. Okay. Wait, oh, this. Pride Month. In the middle, it spells demon. I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>